Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, I had a little bit of def technical difficulties there on the last attempt. But I think we are, we've are we got to sort it out and we are up and running. Uh, I was just originally talking about uh, kind of the last couple of uh, play sessions. We've accomplished a lot. We've been barreling through our quests. We have just a handful left here. Uh, the big event, the big revelation... That recently happened was that Kalij is more involved in the case than we initially well we had no issues was involved in all but then it turns out that she was lying to us or at least misleading us quite a bit and we have taken her in for processing she's been Kim is taking her to be arrested uh, turns out she's like a corporate spy from a different country and so she really didn't want us to take her in but she was just too big of a risk to leave out in the open to especially a flight risk so we don't have a whole lot on our plate so I'm assuming we are either close to the end of the game or something is going to break loose here um, we've got to talk to Andre about the church um, and we need to head back to Titus to see if he will give up the location of Ruby uh, that is who Kalish has implicated as a possible murder suspect uh, that's also, um, we are pretty sure that is the 8th Hardy Boy, the person who has different shoes at the scene of the crime, as well as the person we think that is kind of organizing and running this drug trade. So we're going to hop in, we're going to speak to Andre, and then we'll head to Titus. But first, I've got to go take my dog out. So we have a series of starts, starts and stops, so I'll be right back. Hang tight. Just be a moment. Okay, here we are, back again. Sorry about that. He uh, is at least accommodating. He doesn't take long, so. Okay. That is the re the not the rebrief. That's the summary. So let's hop back in here. Now, we unraveled Egghead's mystery last game, and we got to a point where we have to like figure out how to make a song more hardcore and I'm pretty sure that was physical instrument and I don't think we have hardly anything to um da -da -da -da. I don't think we have anything really we've tried this before we don't have a lot of physical instrument boosting clothes I think we have a shirt so We'll see. What do we got? Minus two. That's not going to be helpful. So I don't know that we're going to be able to succeed. Half light. I think it might be the shirt we have on, actually. And I might have done this already. Yeah, that's our physical instrument shirt. So I don't think we're going to be able to succeed at this role. There's a couple other like physical instrument checks around. So if we do get an excess of points, would be a useful thing to Good just go morning. try them all. Yeah. And Pump then we can plop one in physical morning, instrument gang. and see. So uh, how are things going? 
All right, about the church, I checked it out. Ah, and he t tenses up what happened. I talked to the crab man. Oh man, who is he? What did you think? Seemed to be, seemed okay to be honest, very spiritual. He gave me this odd lecture on alcoholism before rambling on about mother's love. You're right, he's a true narcomaniac. Uh, he seemed okay. Very spiritual. Really, huh? Interesting. What's he doing in the church? Just preaching and praying from the looks of it. He clearly enjoys the physical activity. Guy climbs like a freak. There's something sinister going on under the building's roof. I think he's getting high. Uh, just preaching and praying from the looks of it. No matter, the paranoid young man mumbles gruffly. Is he going to be a problem? Yeah, Noid is right. Let's go back to the point. What are we going to do about him? Sevier Fair. These guys will not never catch him. You will never catch him. There's nothing to do. Uh, of course, he's a problem. He's a crab man. He keeps himself physically active. Thinks spiritual thoughts. Doesn't drink. Who am I to evict such a person? As far as I can tell, he's not going to leave. He'll climb around up there, and guys, you'll never catch him. Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind a nightclub after all. See, the issue isn't the crab man, it's uh, Suna? The, like, video game developer person? She doesn't want them in there. Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind, so yes, he wouldn't. I don't know, man. Doesn't it feel like a major hindrance to you? He rubs a jaw. A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have a nice, friendly, hyper time. Just going to have to live with the crab man. Don't worry. I don't think he really gives a damn about you or anyone else. I guess it's not a massive problem now that I think of it. Everyone is welcome to dance till morning. Maybe, uh, I guess we'll figure something out. Okay, but what about the other spooker? The one in Grandma's clothes. Did you see her? I was using the mainframe when Suna, the former lead programmer for Fortress Accident, appeared. Programmer. That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask her about the nightclub? She did not like the, an the anodic dance club idea. What a pity. That's my favorite thing in the world. He drops a hammer back into a toolbox, and she doesn't like it at all. A shame, he says. What can we do now? Do you see a way out of this jam and into a laser-lit future of dance and unity? Unity dance! <laughs> Egghead. She made it very clear that she won't leave until her own project is finished. Oh, I guess I should check. It looked like it was working on OBS, but can you guys, can you guys in the chat, can you hear me? Just, uh... If you can, would appreciate it if... I guess I could turn on my own stream. Let's just do a little quick check here. Let's just do a little quick check here. Okay, yeah, I'm coming through. Uh, thanks for the reply, Defunctator. Okay, she made it very clear that she won't leave until her own project is finished. Well, I can help with that. And you can't just evict her. No, I won't evict her. We have to come up with a different solution. Yes, I could go for another try, bringing the hammer down on all. Now I have to come up with a different solution. Look at you, honor man. No, Noid, he's right. Maybe we've approached it the wrong way after all. I'm sure there's a workaround. We can make a deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get in the church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist, coexist? At least Crabman seemed like an advanced being. He's hard, he'll understand. Yeah, he can do his climbing thing in the tower and the programmer. Does she like anodic dance music she absolutely does not really truly despises it she gets down i mean who doesn't she despises it egghead cannot believe what you just said it makes him pump the jam a little slower for a moment but then he returns to the full swing <laughs> no worries we'll figure it out the man nods enthusiastically then leans in for a whisper if coexisting fails you can always muscle her out right if it's all okay with you what do you think perhaps Perhaps if you drop the drug lab, it might make it easier to convince her. I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. All right, I'll see how it goes. I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. Crap. 
perhaps if you dropped the drug lab and well I thought we already said no drug lab let's go ahead and just he looks around the tent oh man but the drug lab was like an integral part of getting the club going for me it was my favorite part chemistry is great besides imagine all the drugs we could do if we had our own drug lab I mean anodic dance music is great and all but drugs they make you feel really good when did you last feel really really good I don't have time to feel good I'm a very busy officer of the law I'm a very busy officer of the law. Pull out the stick, law man. You'd absolutely love drugs. They'll make you feel transcendent. I refuse to her out, but I can try convincing her. He smiles wide like a replica of his friend with large head. Excellent. You know, do you have a... Uh... I see you're here again, offside man. Did I mention getting us into the church would help? So sticker. Man, somebody has to have a freaking crowbar. That's what I need. I just need to get this backup data for her, and I'm sure she'll be fine. I really don't want to evict her or make her... do not want to do either of these things. I want to help her solve her problem. Where, oh, where are you, Super Pry Bar? All right, Suna. Yes, what is it? What if you didn't have to leave? I talked to Andre. He wants to make it work. I don't want to make anything work. Hold on. You don't want to make anything work? Yes. Anything. I don't want to make anything work. Uh. Well, I mean, this was like one that actually like kins out kind of okay, but I really want to help her. Discovered fortress accident. I can actually get better suggestion right here about emptying my hands. And I don't know. I don't think I have clothes. I have a sh shirt. So I think that. Where is this blasted super pry bar? Minus one suggestion. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That'll be... I didn't realize I had a suggestion on it. I don't think this... Yeah, it doesn't. So let's put that on. That's a cool looking jacket. I don't know where I got that from. I like it though. Anything here have negative suggestion? All right, so we're at plus two suggestion. Yes. What is it? Ninety-two percent. Uh. I don't know what to do. I think we're just going to we're just gonna roll with it. Listen about your research you mentioned earlier that it's not going very well. Maybe I can help you with something. Oh Well, maybe this is what I wanted all along. Who knew? What? She looks up from her work disoriented. No, I don't really need any help with my project, but if I could help you finish the project, then you wouldn't have to live in a church next to the boom boom. Any Oh, I guess that's the music. Just think about it. She thinks about it, a glassy look in her eyes. 
a gust of wind brings more snow in, f in from the broken gallery, it touches her hair. Alright, she finally says, blinking twice, bring me the game's off-site copy from my old workspace. If you really want to help, it's stored on a filament memory. I'm unable to go fetch it myself. Is the filament... That's the production schedule. <sighs> the off-site copy, I know what it is. It's backup of my former employer's project, the radio game we were working on. It's stored on a filament memory, just like the one in this, uh, this radio computer. She points to the glowing cube inside the machine. She's making it extra simple for you. The backup itself is destroyed now, but I'm hoping to use what's left of it to pinpoint the exact location of the anomaly. You just have to go to my old workspace and get the filament. Hold on, if it's called an off-site copy, then why is it still on-site? I'll go ahead and show that to her. No, that's the production schedule. You stole and accessed without authorization. She tap she's tapping the table in a badly concealed impatience. I don't need it. If it's called an off-site copy, why is it on-site? Oh god, not this again. She takes a deep breath before letting it out. It's not it is not on site, it is in the basement. Perfectly safe, not connected to the front at all. Basement, sounds like technically still on site. And no, taking it outside the building wouldn't have protected it from the data loss. There's nothing wrong with keeping the backup in the basement. What happened with it was a freak accident that was had has nothing to do with how the backup was stored. I'm... I mean, I'm not a... Revicholian radio scientist, but how did something stored separately, not connected to anything, get erased? All right, we clear. She stares at you with pleading eyes. By your old workspace, do you mean? Yep. Yeah, that's the one. You can get in through the back shop, the bookshop. You just have to do some. I already know all this. Actually, I've already been inside the doomed commercial area. Good. Then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building cellar. The filament is inside the fridge. It's not in there. In the giant ice bear fridge, I just told you it had red glowing eyes. It's impossible to miss. You just need to get the offsite copy from the ice bear. But you've been to the fridge and it wasn't there. There was a note saying. Oh, I forgot that there was a note. I found a note from the ice bear fridge that said the offsite copies have been moved to a safer place. She freezes. Wait, a note from whom? Did you specify where they took the filament? It said the offsite copy had been taken to a nearby ice cream maker. The note was signed by someone named Sulsalal. Zawiza, of course. She relaxes our proje project lead, Solishlaw Zawiza. God, he was always to hell bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe and feature and feature, feature creep, she mutters, and the Valley of Heads. Like it would have made a difference. The offsite copy was perfectly safe when the data loss happened. The data loss was anomalous. She crosses her arm defiantly. And the heads, I won't even get into. The heads, millions of them, she stops. Go find that copy from the ice cream maker, will you? Thanks. Valley of Thousands Heads, you like the sound of that? Found the ice cream maker but couldn't get in. Couldn't get it open. It's completely frozen. <laughs> By the way, we put a dead body in the fridge. I have to see what that says. Wait, what? She looks up alarmed. Who's dead body? It's the body of the hangman. Don't worry, I put it there temporarily. It's all part of official police investigation. <laughs> you put it there. She leans back, massaging her eyelids. You put a dead body inside the ice bear fridge? Yeah, that's what I said. Investigation warranted it. Okay, she says, pressing fingers into her eyebrow ridge. Very cool. Thanks for keeping me in the loop. I found the ice cream maker, but could get in. It's completely frozen. This is getting ridiculous. Can't you just defrost it? Or I don't know. I don't know about the ice cream maker. Just figure something out. Okay, well, if I can defrost it, that's fine. Bam. Thanks. She takes a moment, reaches behind the radio computer. Oh, boom! I got the Super Brown Bar! Finally! And here's my Kvasold multi-tool. Might need it to hack loose some ice. It opens everything. If you get me the offsite copy, then you can keep the Kvasold. The legendary Kvasold multi-tool. This pry bar version 2.0 for professionals like you. 
Yes, this you're right, Defunctator. I found that ice cream maker maybe like the first session I played, and have been <laughs> this is like the culmination of my entire game. Oh, this is the best. So so feel so vindicated right now. I wonder if the pry bar has stats on it. Yeah, I'll let Kim finish the murder thing. I'm gonna get this filament and then I'm I'm retiring. This is the case. This once this goes in the books, I'm done. Open this thing. Can I like does this I wonder if does this help me in like physical instrument checks? Like what about this door up here? Will this help me open it? I mean, it's made for opening stuff, right? Is this just like completely... No. Huh. Then what? Oh, I wonder if it'll get me into that other building. Is there other things I can open with this that I couldn't open before? And if so... What? Why make it an entire item that you can pick up if you aren't going to let me... Wait, when you were saying let Kim finish the murder thing, were you saying, like, wait till him, for him to get back from booking Khalij before I go do this? Or, like, just let, you know, this is my greatest achievement and now my game is done. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought you were just making a joke. Yeah, this is definitely my peak. I thought maybe I could get it. I feel like... I feel like I should be able to get into this building. Because... I don't know if you guys still show up. See this? There's like a thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's highlighted. But I can't quite figure out how to get in. Yeah, I can click it, but I don't know. I can't get in. That's the problem. Unless I can, like, pry open this board. I feel like the world is my oyster now. Well. I think something highlighted on the sides... I don't see anything here. Unless it's on the other side. It's true. I am getting distracted from my greatest quest. Let's go do that first. But that one has been a that one that building has been uh, pestering me. I don't. I mean, I get, I guess, why they do it, but I hate how it, like, gets darker around the edges of the screen when it gets late at night. It's, it's very distracting. Let's go! Do, do, do. So, I wonder, could I have just defrosted it? And just left it for a long time? I wonder if that would have worked, but I was afraid that it, I remember the note or something saying it needed to be kept in a cool place, so I was really afraid to just let it defrost. Here we go. Here's the ice cream maker. What does that... What did that just do? Get the ice cream maker open, find the right tool, or ask Suna for help. I've got the tool. It's a... 
Uh oh. <laughs> Still a 3% chance. Hmm, so I'm guessing I should unplug it. I can't remember which two cables. The black one goes to the ice cream maker. Yeah, we don't want to unplug the red cable, that's for sure. Are you serious? Like, this is it? I thought this was going to just be an easy-peasy pop-it-open thing. Huh. I don't have any... I don't have any skill points to put in physical instrument. I thought I had the thing equipped. Does it take like... Let me get, dang it, I hate it when I do this. Dang. That's it, right? Equip the tool to open locked containers. What if I put that in there too? No. That's interesting. Well, the well, the one thing is the Funkatator. It used to have like a negative twenty modifier on it, and so that modifier is gone now that I have the tool. But I'm still too weak <laughs> to be able to open it. Do I have anything dropping down my physical instrument? I don't think I do. I am a weakling! So... That's true, a life of letting yourself go will uh, make you weak. I guess my only option now is to assume that the longer I leave it unplugged, the more it will dethaw. Which means I need to go talk to someone to test this theory. So right now it's at a 15, it's a 17%. So we're going to find out. I'm going to talk to Titus, see if we can get him to give up Ruby, and then we'll see uh, we'll see if that has dethawed any. Because I don't have enough points to just be going around trying to redo checks at this point. I'm going to guess these are going to be useless. I feel like I'm going to need empathy, though. I want to know what other containers I can open with that thing. Just dragged her away, huh? Stone cold. I didn't have... Didn't think you had it in you. Didn't have what in me to arrest her? Yeah, you ruthless son of a bitch. He nods approvingly. I certainly didn't have it in me. I always let the pretty ones go. I'm soft like that. Yeah, like when he let old Clancy's widow walk. Or Denise, the diner girl, the milk... He'll crack on that one. He says almost... I don't, even, I, like, I don't know what that word is. Can't say I wasn't sad to see her go. Our college there. Her face when you, your friend walked her out. She shakes his head. Hold up her face. What did it look like? One third humanity will be cold and you're worried about a single lamb. <laughs> That's funny. That's what the normal thing... That was the normal thing to do. She was a flight risk. I'm a cop. Oh my god, she had a sad face. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see what her face, what did it look like? Like she was walking on the gallows. Uh-oh. I couldn't risk it. She lied to me. She'd been honest to me. It probably would have been a little different. I. That was the normal thing to do. She was a flight risk. I'm a cop. 
Yes, normal. He seems to be thinking nothing to nothing to do about it now. I guess just I just hope she can game her way through the system and come out the other way. Don't think I forgot how I specifically let you know how I felt about her arrest either. He says, shaking his head. Now what do you want? Okay, I talked to Khalij. Now I need to talk to Ruby. Why? He leans back and regards you with curiosity. Because she's your real leader. I'm going to level with you. She, She's the next link in the chain that leads to Lely's killer. I have seen her in a laudanum-induced delirium. A paranormal instinct whispers her name into my ear. Look, I don't need to pin this on someone. Look, I need to pin this on someone and I've decided to pin it on her. I suspect she killed the victim. A civil war is brewing, and the only way to prevent it is to solve the murder. That means talking to Ruby. She is suspecting... She's a suspect in another case. Alright, so... I think civil war, or... She's the next link in the chain that leads to Lely's killer. I'm gonna go with the civil war. That seems like that would... Uh, that would really get people talking. Sounds like you want to push this steaming pile of shit on anyone, and now you've picked Ruby. Well, no, not on my watch. You won't. Ruby's one of us. We're not going to throw her under your Moreland turn steamroller. Uh, oh, really, guys? Just because I'm a Moreland turn? He throws a glance at Titus as he yells the syllable, leaves his lips. The big guy sighs. She is missing, and if you hide from... She is missing, and if you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. That's how it works, guys. That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. He crosses his arms. I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R and R here. Think you could f off now? Little do you guys know, logic is my game. <laughs> like Titus, give Ruby's location. Titus doesn't believe Ruby shot the hanged man. Present, present a theory. Make him see it's something to consider. I can present you with a hell of a theory. Boom! I wonder if that would have failed. <laughs> a sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its eerie blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs. Oh, dang. I actually did not do something I should have done. I might go do that in a minute. Uh... Webs of human emotion and all channeled into a single thought. Why are you so sure Ruby didn't off him? Because she was here all night with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's cop 101. She didn't go to the toilet. She didn't go to the bar for a drink. She didn't go out for fresh air for one smoke. No. That's a lie. The window Khalij gave for the time of death was from 1130 to 1215. You mean to say she stayed put from 11.30 to 12.15 all that time? All right, she took a leak, okay, for one moment, maybe, went out went out to... She has an operation to run from her lorry. He points to the intersection. We're not getting into what that operation is again, cop. And just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. He taps on his temple. I've been through this. It's not plausible. He's been through it. That means he suspected her too. All right, we're we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for some time during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. You do agree the shot came from the roof. A skilled Sambo artist could have climbed the outer wall like a spider. There's a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the roof. Have you noticed the winch out back? The outer... Yeah. How? He looks sin sincerely curious. Through what looks like an abandoned pinball workshop. Hmm, people say there was a pinball arcade here sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? East Delta Pinball Arcade. The old man coughs. Weird place. Went bankrupt. Okay, but the man looks around. How'd she get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building or an elevator, for that matter. The elevator is on the outer wall of the building. It's an old dumb waiter used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. The big guy takes a long, considered gulp of beer, and how does she come into it? Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down, all under seven minutes. 
That's quite the theory. He turns to Eugene. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boys. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears me and Angus get here. <laughs> me clears. Right when the law clears me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb waiter, not an industrial lift. How am I going? How about I, how about I go instead? That's funny. Poor, poor guy. Shush now. He turns to you. You got something else to back up this, back this route up, or is that it? Have we firmly established Ruby could have accessed access to the roof where the man was shot? Firmly, he shakes his head. Firmly doesn't go well with could have. There's a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we've established. But a route, he forms a gun with his hand, does not put the bullet in his head. A gun does that, and Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two, murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, if not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt in the shape of a gun. Just don't contradict yourself. If it doesn't sound like Ruby did it, maybe keep it to yourself. But what if you miss interesting information that way? The choice is ultimately yours. I've already established Ruby's running drugs. She could have smuggled guns too. I have analyzed the bullet that killed him. It was jacketed. Sure, the antique rifle. There are weapons like this just lying around Martinez. Uncle Ponchet sold my lost gun to the woman. Maybe it was her. Yeah, but I don't use jacketed bullets. That looks antique. Abel McGrav. He takes the gun, inspects it, and hands it back to you. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? There's a cellar under the bookshop. It was hidden there with others just like it. Also inoperable. Yes, but there were so many. 20, maybe 30 rifles. We need to close that dump down for good. Okay, I see your point. There are guns lying around. He shakes his head. Damn it, I thought we found all the old spots. Why was that still there? We just missed one. Ruby doesn't know this place, boss. Just these cops digging up shit. I've analyzed the bullet that killed him. It was jacketed. So the man shrugs and looks at you. So it had to come from a breech-loading rifle, military grade. He turns to you. Not even mil militia monkeys have those. He doesn't wait for his response. This goes against your short-range theory. If the murder weapon was military grade, how did Ruby get it? You just showed him a breech-loading gun. I just showed you a breech loader that any child could have. Just because it's rare doesn't da, da, da. just bring up front with you. I'm never solving this case. A broken old broomstick is what you showed me, but point taken. He nods. Time to really close this deal. Show him the show them the bullet. Hold out the bullet. This is the bullet that did 446. The Bell McGrav uses the same caliber. Blonde man looks at the mushroom. Deathbringer in the evidence bag and says, yeah, that bitch is jacketed all right. Four millimeter two. Whoa. Uh. Size, follow the evidence. Bag back in your pocket. It's not proof, but it's possible murder weapon close to her. Too damn close. You have been thorough. I'll give you that. I didn't say I'd prove she had the murder weapon, just that we need to find her. Move on. All right, he nods. Keep talking. I'm getting a bit curious about something myself. T, we're not seriously considering it, are we? He almost gets up from his seat. Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three, motive. The last component. It's not why she did it. It's why she did. Why did she organize the cover-up? Before I arrest Calais, she told me, some pretty interesting things about Ruby. Maybe it's all part of leadership challenge. When Kalish came downstairs, Ruby appeared to... Nah. Maybe she killed him because she thought it would be... Okay. That's why she... Da, 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 da. Maybe it's not why she killed him. Why did she... Okay. Before I... Uh, let's do this. Before I arrested Kalish, she told me some pretty interesting things about Ruby. She's part of the homosexual underground. Apparently she had a thing for Kalish. Sex. She wanted sex from her. The big man falls absolutely silent behind his squinting eyes. Dominoes are falling fast. It's all beginning to make sense to him now. Yeah, but the fat man looks up from the table. They're both girls. I know it's bewildering for me, too. Come on, guys. She hangs out with you meatheads. This cannot come as a surprise. Supernatural. Scary, yes. Probably went to a university and learned from a liberal. Yeah, no. Ruby's got more balls than a ball pit. You'd have to be an idiot not to. She, he looks around. Guys, I'm not the only one who knew, right? Knew what? 
the man can't believe what he's hearing. First he says she murdered him and now she's... Oh my gosh. Come on, Glenn. She likes Monica's titties more than you do. The mesk smiles. Everyone knows which way the wind blows there. I did. I knew it. That's why she didn't. Oh my gosh. These guys. Uh, Khalij said she made advances on her and she thwarted them. She also threatened her to end her relationship with the deceased. This is some sordid shit. The big man rubs his chin. It's also the kind of garbage our Miss Orange puts out to cover her own ass. She did tell us right before we arrested her. She just told us Ruby made her scared and she spilled the beans. She just told us. She did tell us right before we arrested her. I don't know. She just she told us Ruby made her scared and she spilled the beans. Right before we arrested her. Figures. He looks out the window. But that Ruby is queer as a cabaret now that i start thinking about it so there is some truth to it and that's okay some are queerer than others you can still be a hardy he glances to glenn but if you bring your own personal shit into our outfit if that's the case then it's not right he looks at titus then elaine but it's not the case right there are many pieces that fit together that way eugene face it maybe it's all part of the leadership Ruby appeared to know what was going When Khalees came down the downstairs, Ruby appeared to know that something was wrong. Nah, man, that's just Ruby. She's got shit under control. The man explains that's her whole thing. That's why she's so good. Plus, man, it's like the female intuition, you know. Women talk to women. He peeks at Titus, which is sort of why we need someone on the team who they talk to. <laughs> Eugene wants a woman on the team so they can do their job. That must be hard. <laughs> Half of Martinez is female. Yes, roll your eyes. Female intuition, that's what it was. You're right, Eugene. Yes, she just got her shit together. <laughs> that's how she knew. Or she knew what happened because she killed him. Not, not so useful. Titus looks at Elaine and then Eugene blonde man and his some kind of anguish that makes him stare into the garlic bread bowl intensely. I, I stare into the garlic bread bowl intensely. No anguish needed. Garlic bread is good. <laughs> uh, maybe she killed him because of thought. Da, 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 da. Maybe it's all part of the leadership challenge. It's not why did she kill him. It's why did she organize the cover up. And I suppose you have a theory about that. She could have been covering up for herself, Titus. It was her idea, right? The hanging. The little man squints, eyes beady. She had like a fully formed plan and shit right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Khalij wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd been first. Time for a logistics demonstration. Eugene, let's assume you killed him. Eugene, let's assume you killed him. He scoffs. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as part of a lynch mob or alone committing murder the man is silent if she used us to cover up her own her cover her own shit up well that's a serious violation of the hardy code boss which is why she didn't this is stupid this is the queer this and the queer thing all of it the blonde man waves his beer around why aren't more of you defending her this is stupid Glenn, Titus looks grim. I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Titus, you have to see it. Things don't add up. I need to talk to her. Silence. He looks around the room. The old man in the corner nods. A very small nod and a trickle of tobacco spit on his lip yeah i see it he puts his beer down there's one more thing i've been wondering about ever since you asked me where she is add it to your list of suspicions if you want i don't know he smiles peculiar smile i don't know where she went she just up and left got real scared too wouldn't tell me where however i however hard i ask want to know why why she was afraid i would tell you he looks you straight in the eye. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. You think she knew I'd find evidence against her. Make Titus give up Ruby's location. Experience gain plus 70. Perhaps. He looked out of the w window again. Ask her if you find her. 
It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. All right, making progress. When did she leave? Friday afternoon, when you first arrived, I got word the RCM was in town. Then she came to see me, told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you, you. Me as in the RCM. No, you as in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Oh, my reputation proceeds me. No wonder she's afraid I have come to declare the ending of the human experiment. I'm sorry, God. Why does everything flee at the sight of my shadow? I have no idea why she'd be scared. I'm just a normal cop with regular thoughts in his head. Sure. <laughs> That's funny. I just got an achievement for being like a very boring cop. <laughs> sure, normal. She sa he's, he says without smiling. You know, when I first saw you limp in here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply, but he measures you up. Now I'm not so sure. What else did Ruby tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes, he scoffs, and that you won't stop. Won't stop. Question mark. Until you have something on her, she said. She's heard of you from Jamrock that you're a human can opener, that you can play suspects against each other, open them up like cans. And then, when they're all empty, just move on unto the next can. Don't look back unless there was something you missed. The tattooed man shakes his head. Titus, did he just open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. He nods. <laughs> now we can whine about it. Whack him, or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day. Al, how about you? Silence. He nods. Anything else? Anything? Yeah, there was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he. But she was too scared. Because I'm a good cop. Do you have any clues where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry, so she's on foot. Good luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. Yeah, Al. He gives a sharp look, and we won't either. She's not really a... The man stares into his beer. Hardy candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Have you looked for her? A little on the coast. Where have you looked for her? More precisely, on the coast. Past the waterlock. He nods southwest. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Who's doing this looking? They're all here. You're all here. Who's out looking? He shrugs. Lizzie needed some air. The gardener? But she went to, but she went to tell Everard. You're a smart cop, but you're a stupid person. No one goes to tell Everard anything. If he has to know, he has to know fast. It's called a radio. You can believe, <laughs> radio. You believe the gardener may have played you again when she stormed out. She has her own plan. Curse the gardener! Can you tell me where on the coast I should start looking? Sure, there are some shit houses there, Cinderblock Town. The fisher folk there refuse to unionize, so that's one place we haven't looked. I hear they have a shack where the junkies sometimes crash. Times, time up. Time for you to step up. I'll start there. One more question: What does Ruby look like? Boyish, hair's red, dyed. Looks like a lorry man. Do you know what she's doing with the Ulan frequencies? What is that? I don't even remember what that means. The what now? I have no idea. She said she's building a... His voice is very quiet. A pale emitter. emitter. What? We are talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing Ulan frequencies and a pale something. I don't, I don't know more. This guy barely understands what he's talking about. There you have it. Pale something. I don't know where that came from. It's not much, but it'll do. It'll have to. He puts his hand out. Shake it. His grip is firm and reassuring, like holding a piece of unpolished granite. Date of birth generator. You were born in year 07, in the last year of the com commune of Revichol, right before it fell. In the old military hospital... On the ground floor where people usually came to die during a snowstorm. The Revicholian had about one year left the revolution had about one year left to go, and the fires were still burning bright. 
There were explosions in the blizzard. This was 44 years ago. You are 44 years old. The bloating might never leave your face, but beneath it, you still have some years. You still have some hope. Earning cap of logic raised to four. Minus one, di <laughs> minus one difficulty off, this off physique passives. Nice. That's actually useful. I'll take it. All right, ask about Ruby in the village. Got it. I believe there is a... Up in Kalija's room, I was supposed to look at the window and do a um, analysis, a visual calculus analysis, and completely forgot about it, so I'm going to go try to do it now.